Hello, I'm Melody Johnson, author of the Nightblood series and the Love Beyond series. Book one in the Love Beyond series is Beyond the Next Star. If you like a strong, silent, sensitive military hero, a resilient heroine um, with a dark past and traveling to new worlds, you'll love this book. My Nightblood series is four books, The City Beneath, Sweet Last Drop, Eternal Rain, and Day Reaper. The Nightblood series is just as dark and gritty as the Love Beyond series, but it's set on Earth. Think um, Bones meets Buffy. If you like twisty murder investigations, lots of love and kissing, you'll like this book. A few uh, fun facts about me. Um, the City Beneath was the first book I ever published, but it was actually the third book I'd ever written. And my books are based on my travels. So um, the reason I wrote The City Beneath, set in New York City, is because I used to live in Northeast Pennsylvania, and I'd go into New York City a lot for, um, for business and pleasure. I used to go to see some Broadway plays and go shopping and have fun with my friends and a lot of just my mom. And um, the um, Beyond the Next Star, the setting of that book, I did not travel to the planet Lorien and do research for that one, but it is, um, it is based on a trip with my husband that I took to North Georgia. We went hiking and got a little turned around on the Appalachian Trail in negative two degree weather. Um, so that was a very long hike, lots of snow, lots of shivering. And so um, that's how I got the inspiration, this where I came up with the plot for um, Beyond the Next Star. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about me and my books, you can visit me online at authormelodyjohnson.com. Not only do I have my books listed, but I also have listed um, lots of events and book signings, uh, places that I'll be that you can meet me. But if you don't get to see me in person, I do hope that you um, go ahead and say hi online. I am on Facebook and Instagram a lot. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy my books and happy reading.